guys, welcome back to another video on the channel where today um, we're playing something a little bit different today. Um, it's called Dirt 4. Um, yeah, I'm sure you guys have heard about it before. It's like a dirt rally game, um, but I haven't played it yet. So it's going to be interesting to uh, have a first time run through the game, uh, see what it's about, and um, maybe play other ones because I know there's also there's different ones too. There's like there's Dirt Rally or something like that too. There's a bunch of other ones, but today we're playing Dirt 4. It looked pretty interesting. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so we're just starting here for some reason. I don't know why, but now let's let's launch the game and uh, see what we got today. We got a nice Dirt 4 logo. <laughs> I mean, isn't that always interesting? Okay, what was that? <laughs> I don't. Dirt 4. Press the A button. No save game was found. Uh, do you want to set up, set up one now? Yes. Uh, okay, I confirm. <laughs> this might just be set up, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Um. Okay, adjust the slider. Until I can just barely see it. That that's good. <laughs> I mean Racing in dot is a thrill like no other. Dot. Your car flows through the turns. It's like music. You find the rhythm and then dance with danger on the edge of control. The adrenaline courses through your veins, but the whole world melts away until it's just you, the car, and the competition. Be fearless. Hello and welcome to Dirt 4. I'm here to help you get started on your path to becoming a driving legend. Why not tell me a bit about yourself? <laughs> okay. Okay, so, um, that looks pretty cool. I mean, just from that, that looks pretty cool. Um, anyways, we got, uh, first name. Oh, I have to type it all out. Alright, I'm gonna type this and I'll be right back. Okay, I got it down. I didn't realize there was the first and last name, so I just put last up gaming and then YT for last name. Um, okay, and then we have a bunch of random stuff that I'm not gonna fill out because I don't feel like doing that. Okay, so RaceNet. RaceNet offers an enhanced dirt for experience, allows you to track your career across a mall. Okay, no. Let's I don't get care the basic setup. What kind of experience are you looking for when it comes to driving the car? Uh. Gamer? I'm here for fun. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to put for that, but I just chose gamer because, I mean, technically I am. Dirt Open, Event 101, Stage 101. Sau Sawtel Sprints, Fit Fitz Fitzroy, Australia. Okay. Alright, so we're going to Australia for something here. We're going to Fitzroy, Australia. Um, if you guys know where that is, then tell me. I don't even know if that's a real place in Australia, but if it is, <laughs> then tell me. Okay, well, it just beeped at me, and I see the continue button, so yeah, I'm just gonna Welcome click to continue. Welcome to Australia. This is a great place to get a taste of driving a rally car. There's no pressure to compete, but there are some talent scouts. You never know. Do well, and it could lead to a seat with a professional team. Your co-driver and instructor for today will be Jen Horsey, one of the best in the business. Good luck. 
Okay. This is an M Sport paired Ford Fiesta R2. It's front wheel drive with a sequential gearbox, and although it's got a small engine, it still packs a bunch. It's a great car to get started with. I'm gonna count you in like I would at the start of a real stage, so when you hear me say go, hit the gas and get up to speed. Alright, I don't know if this is manual Five, mode right now. Four, three, two, I kinda wanna be one, in manual mode. Go. I don't know if it is in manual mode. Okay, so let's get a feel for how okay. it's not a manual, but I'm not gonna set it up right now because I'm decelerating. I'll set it up after this video because I don't feel like setting it up right now. We've got a corner up. Use your brakes this time to slow down the car and then turn the corner smoothly. Keep going through the next set of turns. Try to get a rhythm going. Okay, I didn't actually mean for that to happen, but it kind of just happened, so. Flat on the right <laughs> yeah. rear. Okay. All right. Well, you navigate the road ahead. You need to listen to my note. We'll use the six to one system. A six is a fast and sweeping turn. It's a slow and tight. Right six. Left five over crest. Eighty through dip. Eighty. Okay. Left five. Into right four. And left three over oh. crest. Don't <laughs> cut. Into right okay. five. Okay. Oh, well. Um. Yeah, my car is kind of damaged up right now. Um, I want to be in manual mode, but yeah, I, I don't know how to set that up right now. Other descriptors here are square, hairpin, and acute. <laughs> For these corners, you may want to use the handbrake. Try it out at the junction coming up. Okay, all right. Yeah, I um. I really have to have a feel for this. My my car is already completely just Dip, obliterated. Right five, press, turn, hairpin left, bumps, 60. Oh man, this thing it just sounds like it's in pain. Oh, okay, B's handbrake. All right. Great. I hope that all makes sense. Okay, yep. Take your route notes for the rest of the stage so that you can get a proper taste of stage rally. Wow, okay, yeah, I'm used to Forza. I'm not used to this at all. <laughs> I'm not used Caution, to rallying that much. I barely ever rally, so this is basically like my first bridge. actual rally game. <laughs> Alright, going baby. through a bridge. Over finish. Hey, take oh. us to control. <laughs> the hitting up. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm doing so okay, okay. We made it so it's a stop by Marshall. Okay. I does he know that my job? No one cares that my car is just like. I mean, look at that. No one cares that I just. Oh. No. Or. Uh, no. I don't even want to try to change it. That's just. Hope it was as fun as it looked. Based on your driving, I think the racer difficulty level is right for you. But go ahead and change it if you want. Oh my god. I'm getting like 100 achievements here at once. Okay, um. Just racer. I. Has to start somewhere. With yeah. a bit of training from Jim, Definitely. you can maximize your potential. Your next stop is the famous Dirt Academy in Washington State, USA. You can practice here as much as you like. Okay. Dirt Academy. Um, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna be in the Subaru, Subaru WRX STI NR2. Yeah, um, just based off that, I need some serious practice, because I... I Honestly, I have. I thought my mic was off for a second there. That would have been bad. Um, but yeah, um, I've really never rallied. I, I've never actually played like a whole entire rally game in my life before. Um, so yeah, this is my first time doing it. Um, I'm starting to hope that none of this is copyright either, because that would be kind of bad. Welcome to the Dirt Academy. This is a great place to practice and learn some crucial techniques. Let's start with a short drive around to get used to the car. This car has more power than the one you drove in Australia, and it's all-wheel drive too, so it should feel more capable in the corner. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm having, um, I want to put it onto manual mode, but I, how do I do that? Um, oh, okay. Alright, I figured it out. That took me a lot longer than it should have, but okay. A shifts up and uh, X shifts shifts down. Okay, so it's about the same as Forza, but uh, B. How's the car feeling? If uh, this driving the style isn't quite right for you, you can change it in the options menu. Yeah, I just did that. 
Okay, um, so I got a feel for it. Now what? It's Dirt Academy. Um, okay. Lessons? Basic driving tech. Okay, basic driving techniques. Straight line braking. All right, let's learn. Let's learn how to straight line brake, guys. Um, I don't know how to do this at all. So yeah, this is gonna be just really nice to know. I mean, if if this is what I think it is, then this should be pretty simple, honestly. Maintain stability. Try to brake only when you're traveling in a straight line. Press the brakes hard to the corner ahead, but release them before you turn in. If you've slowed down enough, you won't get too much oversteer. Gliding's fun, but it isn't always fast. Road surface and elevation changes have a huge effect on stopping distances. You need to brake much earlier for this hill gravel turn. Small taps on the brake should be enough for fast technical sections, but focus on straight line braking whenever possible. Straight line braking isn't always the fastest way, but it's usually the safest. Try braking later to find your limit, and when you're ready for the next step, check out the trail braking lesson. Huh. Alright, is that all? Because, I mean, that was pretty simple. I think most people should know how to do that. <laughs> okay. So, just basically break in a straight line. I mean, honestly, I'm saying that, but I don't even know... I. My whole other car was just completely damaged up. <laughs> so yeah, I think I might actually need these things. This, these things would help a lot, to be honest with you. <laughs> Alright. I was about to hit B to shift up again, but I keep forgetting that it's A now. And now when I go back to Forza, I'm going to keep thinking A is to shift up. And then it's going to be B. Oh god. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. So, okay, yeah, 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 we're going off the road, we're, go <laughs> we're, we're, we're going off the dirt, technically. Alright, so we're about to uh, complete a nice lap. I think that was pretty good. I, I mean, I didn't uh, flip over, I didn't, my car didn't flip over, so um, I'm, I'm happy with that run. Alright, um, oh wait, what in the world? That cone didn't like... <laughs> <laughs> that cone did so much damage. It sounded like it broke my whole car. Um, I don't know if, um... Okay, I don't want to do another lap. How do I... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Continue. Oh, no, no, no. That's not how I do it. Um... Okay, let's just do end lesson, because I don't know what... Okay, yeah. Alright, so now we're on to weight transfer. Weight transfer is a core driving concept that is key to mastering the majority of driving techniques taught in the dirt academy all right breaking hard will shift the weight over the front wheels increasing grip when steering and giving you sharper turn accelerating will transfer the weight back over the rear wheels allowing you to get the power down to flow through winding sections use gas braking and steering inputs to move the car's weight around Weight transfer is less distinct on loose surfaces, so you'll need to make stronger inputs to trigger the same effects. Oh, okay. We're done. <laughs> that was kind of just, uh, just a sudden pause. Alright. Let's do this, shall we? Let's see, um, weight transfer then. So, I'm just gonna follow this guy, because I honestly... Oh, I see what he did, so he just kind of did that. Alright, that's pretty simple, I mean... Alright, well, nothing um, extremely bad has happened, so... Well, this course seems pretty uh, pretty short, so I think I'm going to do two two laps on this one. It's, I don't know if you can do just however many laps you want, but I mean, I only did one lap on the other one, and it gave me a check mark still, so I'm just... Believing that I can just do however many I want, and then it gives me a time for each one. Oh, okay, that was bad. <laughs> I was concentrating on uh, how many laps I can do, and I uh, kind of ran into the wall. Well, I... Honestly, though, I feel like I'm starting to get... I, like, actually get the hang of these cars now. Or, at least I'm getting the hang of this car. This car seems a lot easier to handle than the other one. Alright, I think that's enough for this lesson. I, I think I get how to do this. This one is actually 
pretty easy to figure out. Yes, yeah, see, it still gives me a check mark, even though I did too. I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything, but anyways, handbrake usage. Uh, the handbrake can be used to force oversteer, which can be particularly helpful for negotiating tight turns. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so just the handbrake, all right. Okay, slow down for the corner ahead. Turn in. Give the handbrake a quick hit to tighten the line through the corner. For tighter turns, like hairpins, hold the handbrake for slightly longer. But be careful, don't overdo it or you'll spin. Weight transfer gives you the initial turning momentum, and the handbrake locks up the rears to start a slide. The pendulum turns lesson will put this into practice. Okay, I, I think I think I understand. So I don't know which button I use uh, because now that I'm using um, manual, I, okay, it's still B. It's still B. At least I think it is. I don't know. If it's not B, then I'm basically just really t I'm just turning really tight and hoping that it a handbrake. Okay, I don't know. Is that the handbrake? Yeah, that's the handbrake. All right. Now that I know, I can hopefully. I'm used to A being handbrake, so I keep I keep going for A to use the handbrake, but then I realize that it's B, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm dumb. Oh my god, those cones are just horrible sounding. <laughs> Again, though, this is a pretty short course, so I think I'm just gonna do two laps. Alright, that was a little better if there wasn't cones just scattered all around the place. up on our uh, second lap. I think I'm going to do one more lap of this because I'm I don't feel I don't feel like I got the uh, actual hang of this yet. Oh, come on, there's a cone. <laughs> it just sounds like you're just breaking your car. I mean seriously, it does. It sounds like you just crashed into a brick wall or something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this corner once more and see how I do. If I do well, then I can uh, just move on. Oh yeah, that was really good. Alright, I think I'm just going to move on then after this lap. And bam. Alright, we're going to do one more. I don't want to make this video too long just because I don't know if this is going to be interesting to you guys. I'm just kind of, uh, this is just kind of a test thing. Because I don't know, I've never done rally anything before, so um... Anyways, driving on punctures. When you get a flat tire during a rally stage, you have two options. Stop to repair it, or limp the car to the end of the stage. Sometimes, driving it out is your only choice, like when you don't have a spare. And it may be faster to limp it home than to spend the time making the change. When you're driving with a flat tire, the car is going to be unstable and prone to understeer and oversteer. This can be especially problematic on two-wheel drive cars when the puncture's on a driven wheel. Like when you get a rear flat on a rear wheel drive car. Oh yeah, that's when bad. When a tire goes flat, it loses its shape and it gets floppy. If you keep oh, driving you don't on, jump flat, on that. the tire can come right off the rim More. and rip oh, apart, wow. which can lead to bigger problems. The faster you drive, the worse it is. There are a couple of signs to look out for that tell you you're driving too fast on the tire. First, you'll feel a vibration through the car that gets worse with speed. To help prolong the life of the tire, try slowing down to a speed that reduces that vibration. Second, a flat tire is noisy. That's because it's out of shape and it's rubbing in the wheel arch. Again, reducing speed can stop the noise and help keep your tire from breaking apart. Huh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's all? Okay. I didn't, I didn't realize it was just a video. Anyways, uh, let me read the description. I didn't read that. Uh, stop to repair it or limp home. Knowing the key signs to look out for when driving on a puncture is the key to making the right decision. Alright, we're going to do one of these advanced driving techniques. We're going to do one of these. So, uh, throttle control. Throttle, throttle control is a crucial technique for controlling oversteer and understeer, um, particularly when driving rear-wheel drive cars. Yes, indeed. Okay, I already read that. <laughs> Thr 
throttle control is super important, especially for rear wheel drive vehicles like this one. When accelerating out of tight turns, use partial throttle to limit oversteer and try to avoid mashing the gas until you've straightened out. Through long, fast corners, use as much gas as possible to keep your speed up, but back off to control slides when they happen. Once you're confident, apply more gas to find the car's limits and get faster. Alright, so... Oh, jeez, this thing is a lot more insane than, than my, the other car. Okay, yeah, I gotta get used to this one now. Jeez, I had to get used to, like, three cars in a row here. Alright, so I'm just gonna follow this diagram here, because this guy knows what he's doing, and I, I mean, I clearly don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't even know what button this shifts up, so, yeah. Um, definitely, uh, follow this guy. <laughs> not too far behind him. Well, well, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm quite a bit behind him. Alright. I don't know. I shouldn't be drifting because I don't... That, that's not what this stage is about. It's about throttle control. So I'm actually just going to worry about throttle control on this lap. And then I'll uh, turn in and stuff. There we go. up on a turn here, there we go. Alright, and then he oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 alright, I'm, I'm driving horribly. Okay, I'm just, just run into everything at this point. I don't even care about the, uh, <laughs> about the longevity of this car. Alright, I'm gonna actually, okay, I'm, s I said that I was gonna do this last time, but I'm actually going to try to keep the car alive during this one. This is a little bit better. Let's not run into the uh, that wall this time. There we go. <laughs> That's where I ran into the last time. All right, all right, all right. I think, I think. I mean, I know how to do this, but man, this car is a lot different compared to the one I was just riding a little bit ago. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I think uh, that is going to about do it uh, for this video. Um, again, though, if you guys do want to see more of these type of videos, definitely do crush the like button. It'll show me that um, you guys like these type of videos and you want to see more of them. Also, hit the giant red subscribe button. It is the biggest subscribe button on all of YouTube, so hitting it will not only do me a favor, but you a favor because you get more uploads on the channel. But I think other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!